Hey guys, it's Bren, and it's that time of year for an updated candle collection video. I get requests for a candle collection video all year long, but the past couple years I've done it in December towards the end of the year, and I don't like to do it more than annually because then you're not getting a full update to the collection, right? All the seasons have to pass in order for the collections to be completely refreshed. Uh, but it was about last year this time that I did one, so I'll do another one today and show you all the candles that I currently have. I always say that my collection is a rotating collection. It never gets that big because as much as I'm bringing candles in, I'm using them up too. So if I kept every candle that I'd ever purchased, I would have a massive collection that would not fit in this apartment. But I'm using them up and I'm getting rid of them. You know, I don't often just have them to hoard. There are a few, of course, but uh, you know, it's, it's changing. So it's not really, I don't feel like that many candles. I've seen people with a lot more. Um, that being said, I think my collection is always getting slightly bigger. Like perhaps for every two I use up, I buy three because I do have to keep finding more space to put them. Uh, so I have candles in three parts of my apartment, really all in this room. Um, and I'm going to actually do something I don't usually do, which is get behind the camera because that's going to be a lot easier for this than me picking up a candle and showing it and then picking up another one and showing it. Um, instead, you'll get a little apartment tour and we'll just kind of go through them all together. So um, I guess that's it. Enjoy. All right, so I hope my sound is okay. Um, like I said, I don't film behind the camera that much and I'm working with an iPhone 5S here. Uh, the lighting's not real great, but it'll get better when I zoom in, see? So first I just wanted to show you, I have this big like shelf and it's something that I got at Target years ago called an audio pier because I think it's supposed to sit next to your TV stand and have like your DVD player on it and crap like that. I use it for candles. And this area of the apartment, this corner here with this shelf, is where I keep one of each scent displayed in a way that I can come over here and be like, what do I feel like burning today? And I can see everything that I have just about. There are maybe a couple that aren't here and I have a few candles that are just like on display around the apartment as well. But basically anything that I think I might be interested in burning, I can come over here and just be like, all right, let's take it all in. In fact, that's one of my favorite things to do in the morning on days when I'm like working from home or weekends or when I get home from work, I just come over here and I can just pick anything. Um, so uh, you're going to find out if you don't already know this about me that I am definitely a bit OCD because these candles are arranged in a very particular order and every time that I get new candles I have to redo the order. Now that is something that I enjoy but it's also going to make me sound a little bit insane. Um, right now I have mostly the winter candles at the top then fall then kind of summery-ish and like more springy towards the bottom, though those two kind of blend together. Then I have like four random candles on the floor that won't fit as well that are kind of like ones that I'm not as into and just kind of waiting to use up or something like that. Um, I have a different area in my apartment where I have all the duplicates and backups and also a third area where I have other brands of candles and smaller candles. So these are just BBW Three Wicks, again, kind of one of each and uh, let's go ahead and go through them. You're gonna start to see what I'm doing with the order here. So we'll start with winter just cause that's the current season. Uh, I keep loading more candles onto this shelf. It started where I just had like four, you know, and then it sort of had to start curving back and now I have uh, nine sets of two. So 18 on each shelf and I hope that that's okay. Um, it hasn't crashed yet, fingers crossed. I like to stack like labels on top of each other, like these two match, these two match, matching, you know, and then ones that are uh, from the same collection, at least next to each other. And there definitely is a flow. So I have my new ones right on the end here. I also like to put the prettiest ones like here because they're most on display and on the ends and then kind of the uglier ones sort of in the back corners where you can't see them as much. I told you I'm a little nuts. Uh, so we have the three that I just reviewed here um, and then the chestnut and birch. So I, I don't have anything else from that col this collection this year. So it's filling out the, uh, the three from this collection here. I'm really glad I have that one. It's a failed test scent. Of course, the wallflower did come out nationwide, but not the candle. That's why I'm glad I have it. I don't love the scent that much. I think I used up, oh yeah, only like a fourth of it. Um, it's always good to have a failed test scent. Uh, and then I have 
the, oh, I gotta actually get out of my chair here for this, uh, very pretty vanilla snowflake that I bought last year just because it's gorgeous with the matching cozy cabin. Here we have the sparkly candles. I threw this year's berry vanilla bean in because it's kind of the same as these from last year. Cranberry sugar cookie, another failed test scent, and big shout out to I am bored 24 on Instagram, Lar, because he sent me that as a gift. I haven't had the heart to burn it yet. It smells amazing, and I should probably just burn it because I think he would want me to burn it and enjoy it, but it's so hard to light up a failed test scent. Like, I would never get rid of it. It was a gift, right? And it's awesome, so I should just burn it and enjoy it, but I haven't. Uh, this year's hot cocoa cream, which matches the spiced gingerbread. Now, I have a pumpkin gingerbread from this collection that just got booted off the shelf when I bought these. Um, but that one is in what I will call the archives and show you guys later. Uh, Holiday Apple Crisp was a White Barn exclusive that I definitely wish I had more of. That one's great. <sighs> got about a third left. Kind of reminds me of Summer Boardwalk, but with apple, but it's really good. The matching cinnamon frosting. Man, that one hasn't come out again in a few years. It used to come out every year. Some real old ones here. Well, not that old, but a frosted cranberry and a tis the season. Just kind of like some classic favorites there. And then uh, this year's peppermint marshmallow and Merry Cookie. I used to have a last year's because they also were in the same collection and matched. But I just used up my Merry Cookie from last year. So I put this year's here and then this year's peppermint marshmallow because it matched. So I still have some of last year's peppermint marshmallow in the archives. All right, moving down. To the next shelf, we have fall candles here. Matching, matching. Uh, in the back here, sparkling pear riesling in old autumn. I don't really like that scent. Um, so it just stays there. Random Halloween candle, that weird heirloom apple. All right, these, I like them all together. I like all the colors that go together. They're all from the same collection. There's my beloved radiant red maple, my only three wick left in it unburned. I probably will never burn it. I have a couple um, wallflower tester candles in it if I ever want to burn that scent. Matching pumpkin apple, pumpkin berry strudel, and pumpkin banana muffin. And on the end here, the pumpkin coconut and pump or cranberry pumpkin from last year. Yeah. Moving on down. I have some more recent candles here. These, of course, are winter candles from last year, but they kind of smell like summer scents, so they got bumped down. Same with Light Up the Room. Um, and then these are, you know, winter scents that just came out, and they're kind of here, too. They're sort of like more summery scents, to tell you the truth, or maybe all season scents. So if we go through this shelf, uh, I have one more Italian or Italy Tuscan lemon tart that's unburned, but I just have this little one here. I you know, sometimes when they get this low, I just get rid of them. Never for this one. Can't get it anymore. And it's so good. I didn't like it at first, so I didn't buy that many. But now I really like it. wish I had more. Oh, light up the room. I was dealing with one of these for the longest time. And then I got two more on Mercari. And I just love it because a lot of people say that this is just... Um, the green apple orchard or wasabi apple or pink apple punch, you know, their basic apple scent. It's not, guys, it's not. This is like that mixed with island margarita. And that really sweetens it up and makes it so awesome. And that's why I love it. So now I have two of those because I bought two on that site. And I'm very happy about that. Uh, randomly have an, a home here. It doesn't really fit in here, I don't think, but that's where it is. And uh, I wish I had more of that one too. I got that one for 75% off at SAS and I was like, dang, I, I didn't know it was 75% off. I thought it was 50. And after I checked out, I'm like, gosh, I should have gotten more. A um, couple random drink scents here. Sangria Bear Freeze, I should just get rid of. It's all ugly now that the layers blended together and I don't even really like it, but it's there. Um, and then Pomegranate Spritzers from the drink collection from a year before that. And that was a failed... Uh, or not failed. It was a White Barn exclusive. Yeah. And that one kind of smells like the pomegranate lemon artisan body care, I think. This year's Blueberry Twist and Island Margarita. I have a less attractive Island Margarita that I'm actually halfway through burning in my archives. Uh, but I have this one out because it's prettier and it's on display. Here are this uh, earlier year's, whatever this collection was called, Oh, my prickly pear. Jay Alford just posted on Facebook the other day that he uh, got a bunch of these on eBay and I'm so jealous because this is the only one I have. Failed test scent. So good. So amazing. They were sort of trying to, I don't know, there was something sort of like this about that heirloom apple there that kind of smelled like pear but not near as good. This was such a great candle. I always felt like the only reason it didn't pass test is because it was on like the bottom shelf at the test store. Like you know, people just wouldn't grab it. Like they had like prominently displayed cinnamon sugar donut and crap like that. Uh, a coconut leaves, 
sitting there chilling uh, from Hawaiian collection of years ago, 2014 maybe, uh, an island waters and Atlantic high coconut, so many coconut scents. 2013 Summer Boardwalk and Tiki Beach with the matching labels, both about half gone. And then, of course, the ones I just grabbed the other day, Raspberry Lime Margarita and Lemon Verbena. Not from the same collection, but the labels kind of go nicely together, so they stack nicely. Um, <laughs> you can laugh at me. All right. Down here, more springy scents as opposed to slightly more summery, more springy. I don't know. Uh, man. Another one that they should bring back. This is all I have left. No, that's not true. I have half a mason jar in this too. Uh, raspberry peach macaron. Good one. Very sweet, but it's all I have left of the sweet shop collection in three wick. Uh, a 2013 market peach. I will probably never burn this candle just because it was one of my first that I became obsessed with. Definitely not my first Bath and Body Works three wick, but I got this early on to when I started becoming a collector and really getting into it, and it's one of my all-time favorite scents. It's the same as Georgia Peach, but they used to call it Market Peach. All right. Here's some uh, from this year and the year before, January. So the Blueberries and Cream, the Mocha Latte Swirl, those came out nationwide. The Key Lime Pie was a failed test scent from that collection. I have about half gone. But it's actually a total repackage of Tequila Lime Cupcake, which was a White Barn exclusive. So these two are the same, and that's why they're stacked to make a nice transition between this collection and this collection. Um, man, oh man, here's another one. I have two of these, both unburned. So one's on the other shelf, but this is an awesome scent. They bring back so many crappy scents, and they don't bring back awesomeness like this. I'm not a huge fan of sparkling limeade. That's just sitting there. Strawberry Vanilla. Right next to Strawberry Marmalade. You get the pattern. You've seen it. Matching Praline Pecan Cobbler. I actually don't like Pumpkin Pecan Waffles very much, but I really do enjoy this. There is a difference. Some destinations over here. The Paris. The London. Bangkok. Los Angeles. And then some plain White Barn Core Collection Candles Midnight Blue Citrus. Golden Grapefruit was a White Barn exclusive, and I have two more of it. It's really good. There's my Peach Meringue. And a watermelon lemonade that I think I bought just because it's a pretty bright pink color. Yes, I know that's why I bought it, because I don't need any more of that scent. What's going on down here? <laughs> Randomness. Espresso bar. Not one that I ever loved. Uh, I remember being really, really excited about this candle and watching uh, Little Balladeer when she reviewed test candles, being all excited about it, and I couldn't wait to get my hands on it. And I actually don't really like it at all when it's burning. It smells like ch fake cheap coffee to me. Uh, I think, where is it? Where is it? Yeah, Mocha Latte Swirl is a lot better, but actually there are other candle companies that do coffee scents much better than BBW. They haven't got coffee or blueberry down yet. But anyway, that one's chilling there. Uh, that one just came down recently too off the shelf because of getting more candles and having to rearrange. Um, the old mint chocolate, because I just got the new one came down, and then I had a matching one for that, the coconut lime verbena, but I've melted this, so it's a disaster. I've melted this because it smells like kerosene if you're burning it, but when you're melting it, it's okay. Uh, I could probably pitch that at some point, but I won't because I'm a hoarder. Um, it's really hard for me to throw them away, even if I don't like them. Uh, winter vanilla latte, half of that left, and uh, you know I just compared that to creamy nutmeg in one of my recent videos. So that's still there, chilling. Anyway, so that is the shelf where I come to look at my candles. And sometimes I just sit down and rearrange them and it's actually extremely relaxing and fun for me and nerdy and I don't care because I love it. But let me show you what else I've got in some other areas. Okay, here's what I was referring to as the archives, um, because these are like duplicates or random ones, I don't know. So I have this little end table that matches the big shelf you just saw. Totally cheap, Target, falling apart, don't care. Um, up top here I've got my warmer, and in this drawer I've got all kinds of crap. Um, here's where I've got like some tarts, some, ooh, this stuff is amazing. Um, my mixology, some milk cups, lids, random lids that I've kept that I think I might want to like replace boring lids with. There's more of those. Ooh, a billion white barn matches. <laughs> um, a lighter, uh, just, yeah, I mean candle crap. It's the candle cap, crap drawer. Um, but on this shelf, I have nicely displayed some here, some of my favorites. Um, like again, repeats, like I would probably pull this one out and burn it since it's, um, 
more of it is used if I actually did want to burn peppermint marshmallow, but I have the other one on the shelf because it coordinates better. Here's that pumpkin gingerbread I said I just took down because um, I needed room. Some others. Oh, this is a coconut vanilla that I normally have on a pedestal on display, but I have uh, chestnut and cherries on that pedestal right now just because of the holidays. So this will pop back onto the pedestal when I'm done. If we look behind, here's just, you know, I have other ones just kind of stacked up back here. So you can see what I have like duplicates of. Oh, I have the prettier, newer version of party dress on my shelf too. And here's like the half of the one from the year before. And I've obviously changed the lid out at some time because that was not a glittery lid originally. Um, there's that island margarita I was talking about. Oh, oh, the first watermelon lemonade that ever came out. It was new once. Um, this one, oh, I should just get rid of this probably. This is almost gone, so it's not really shelf worthy anymore. Why am I even hanging on to this? But a little bit more pumpkin spice, or spice pumpkin cider left. Oops, sorry guys. This is going to have a lot of banging. I already know it's going to have a lot of banging noises in the background. I apologize for that. The golden grapefruits. What else do I have back there? Oh, midnight blue citrus and a peach meringue. Um, love that. Oh, another tequila lime too. Extra cider lime, extra sparkling pear riesling. Oh yeah, I have the pretty vanilla snowflake on display, but I got this half of one here if I want to burn it. Extra pumpkin spice cheesecake. And then there's an extra chestnut and cherry. And look at this. This is probably the oldest one I have because I didn't actually buy this. My mom gave it to me at some point. This is a, let's look at that. What does that mean? 2009, if it starts with the nine. Can you guys even see that? I can't get it to focus. Serial number or whatever starts with the nine so that one i've put this on the melter though too so it's pretty destroyed but uh yeah an old one a slacking my first two that i bought for myself were actually i mean it's not that long ago that i've been doing this um because i think it was 2012 i bought a pumpkin cupcake and a spiced cider and i didn't know i bought them two for 20 didn't know about survey coupons or anything like that but those were my two three weeks that i remember buying for myself um I had bought Bath and Body Works candles before, like random holiday ones or something like that. But those were the two that really kicked this off for me, I think. And then like Market Peach kind of came along and the whole thing exploded. Now I got to clean all these up. All right. So I have uh, that shelf and then a few more. A few more on display randomly around the apartment. There's the chestnut and cherries. Oh, man, I want to go back to Cancun. Hey, some holiday stuff. Oh. My snowman lights up. A sweater weather that I put on this really pretty pedestal that I got last year. There's Rox. And my grandma. <laughs> other grandma. Rox when she was pup with my other dog. Okay, we're getting off track here. Um, new treadmill that I bought looking ugly. And down here, oh, in turquoise waters that I own just because it's pretty. Down here we have, and this is not super organized. I didn't clean this up before the video. Can you guys see? Bad lighting again. But on the side of this TV stand, I have all of my Yankee candles, Crossroads candles, random other candles, and smaller sized candles from Bath & Body Works. So let's start, let's start on the top shelf. Here are these two Radiant Red Maple Wallflower Tester candles that I have that I found 75% off, which made me very happy. God, this smells amazing. I wish that scent had come back. Um... Some little guys from the Artisan collection that I'm hanging on to for some reason. Um, some medium-sized candles. There's a watermelon lemonade. Okay. And then basically Yankee. Oh, a little lakeside. It's also from that collection where watermelon lemonade first came out. Um, yeah, so some Yankees. Some little Yankees. Some big Yankees. We got the blueberry muffin, the berry trifle, margarita time, red raspberry, peach cobbler, almond cookie, some random strawberry when I got it at an outlet. And if we move down here, we have my medium or mason jar candles from BBW in front. Twisted Peppermint Pumpkin Cupcake, Heirloom Pumpkin. There's some sweet shops. Uh, pink Lemonade, wait, what, Pink Lemonade Pound Cake. Awesome. Uh, there's the peach, or the Raspberry Peach Macaron. I love this Marshmallow Fireside just because I think it's so cute. I love the sweater detail. So that's there. And then some random minis, Halloween minis. The sunny coconut that I thought was disgusting. Um, random. My turkey with a random, I don't even know what scent that is in it. Uh, and you're seeing some more Yankees over here. Yes, those two Yankees are upside down. I'm storing them upside down so that the oil goes to the top 
for when you burn it. And wow, I haven't looked at this one since I turned it upside down. You can really tell it's darker at the top now. I gotta light that baby up and see if that makes a difference. Because there it is. Yep, yep. And I really think that trick works. I've done that with Bunny Cake too. Chilling back there because that's a weak, weak candle. Got a medium chocolate layer cake. Pure Radiance Almond. Um, the only Illumilid that I own. Kitty Cats. Showed that in a recent video, so I don't need to show it again. Uh, Mandarin. Pure Radiance. Oops. A lot of these Yankee candles I got with like extreme coupons. Here's something totally random. A DW Home Home Goods candle in Creme Brulee. Brulee. Those are not strong. Uh, a couple random Crossroads candles. You guys know how I feel about Crossroads. I really gave them a good shot, but I don't love them. So I have a little bit of a Grandma's Kitchen left and then something called Cranberry Amaretto that I don't really like, which is why it's still full. Anyway, now I've made another mess that I get to clean up, but uh, those are the other random candles. So yeah, I've got candles here. I got candles over there. I got candles over there and a bunch of mess too that I just showed you. Uh, and I have candles randomly placed throughout the apartment. Um, above my tiny, tiny TV, I have some little minis and stuff. So anyway, while we wrap up, I'll show you my tree. And that's it. That's the candle collection. And so, um, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll be back with more videos soon. Oh, here's a good one. And the cubbies. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. Bye.